Well, it's happening. After years of waiting, Tesla finally shipped the first of its semi-trucks. The company held a semi-delivery event at Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory in the U.S., where it handed over the keys to the first production vehicle in the lineup to Pepsi. The beverage maker had put out an order of 100 semis for their fleets in the U.S., but because of delays have only started to receive the first production units now. In this video, we take a brief look at the Tesla Semi. We'll also see how Musk's Tesla made the first deliveries of its much anticipated semi truck. Last month, Tesla updated their website relating to the new semi truck with new images and videos. Before this, we only had a little factual information about the Semi. However, now that the Semi is already hitting the highway, expect much more detailed information regarding the much anticipated Semi. The interior of the Tesla Semi has been elusive since the vehicle's first iteration was unveiled in late 2017. Back then, the Semi's interior featured many of the original Model 3's elements, from its dashboard to its driver displays. Tesla's updated webpage for the Semi featured some changes from the original Semi's interior, some of which are noteworthy. According to the website, the final iteration of the all-electric Class 8 truck the Tesla Semi production interior will feature some elements that seem to have been taken from both the new Model S and the Model X and the Model Y and Model 3. What remained from the original prototypes, however, was the Semi's center driving position, which provides drivers with a commanding view of the road. Immediately noticeable in the new Tesla Semi production interior teaser images was the vehicle's steering wheel, which seems to be inspired by the new Model S and Model X. Similar to the flagship sedan and SUV, the Tesla's steering wheel features several touch buttons for functions like the turn signals and the horn. Also interesting is the apparent lack of stocks in the steering column, so changing gears and accessing features like the wipers would likely require a slight learning curve. The Semi also seemed poised to be equipped with dual phone chargers, which would be appreciated as drivers could charge their phone and possibly a spare battery pack simultaneously. The other big update for the Tesla Semi is that it will now boast just three motors as compared to the four independent motors previously promised. The current Semi product page says three independent motors provide instant torque and unmatched power at any speed, so drivers can merge safely and keep pace with traffic. The company has maintained core numbers, including two battery versions for about 300 miles or 500 miles of driving range when fully loaded. The exact battery capacity has yet to be released. Still, assuming the expected energy consumption at less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile, it must be 600 kilowatts and 1000 kilowatts depending on which version you like. Let's take a look at some performance numbers. The gross combination weight of the Tesla Semi with a fully loaded trailer is 82,000 pounds. The Semi can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds and achieve a highway speed limit at 5% grade. Those are good numbers to smoothly operate the truck. However, the significant update with the Semi is the battery and the charging info. Up to 70% range can be replenished in 30 minutes using Tesla's Semi chargers or the Tesla Mega Charger. The average charging power over a 70% state of charge or SOC window is as high as 1400 kilowatts, which is a high power output. This December, Tesla finally delivered the first of its electric semi trucks to Pepsi. The beverage maker had put out an order of 100 semis for their fleets in the US, but because of delays have only started to receive the first production units now. Elon Musk announced the commercial vehicle was ready for delivery at the semi delivery event. The event celebrated that momentous milestone and promised innovation in the transportation industry. Last month, Tesla announced that this event would be held on December 1st, revealing that the unveiling would only include a small number of investors and partners. Musk personally drove a semi-truck to the event festivities. Dan Priestley, the company's senior manager of semi-truck engineering, accompanied him on stage at the Giga Factory event. Tesla's all-electric Class 8 trucks hope to disrupt the commercial trucking industry. The super heavy-duty semi offers a promising path for emissions reduction, improved energy efficiency, and saving lives by making roads safer. Tesla announced that the semi would be capable of fast charging and would have a range of up to 500 miles with full cargo. To support this claim, a time-lapse video showed the driver taking the entire 500-mile trip. No updated pricing or production plan projections were given on semi trucks at the time of the presentation. Tesla did not reveal how many trucks were being delivered to PepsiCo, how many were being produced, or the rate of their production. 
Towards the end of the presentation, Stephen Williams, the CEO of PepsiCo Foods North America, and Kirk Tanner, CEO of PepsiCo Beverages North America, appeared and thanked Musk for allowing them to participate. So Musk has finally delivered his promise on the semi-truck. The following year we'll see more exciting details, leaks, and surprising information regarding the new semi-truck. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Thanks for watching.